What's up guys, Commander Alex here, and today we are going to be playing some Taka in Vainglory. I haven't actually played Taka a ton, and I believe in a uh, earlier video I actually said that I don't particularly like him. But I was playing him because he was free in this uh, week's like free hero rotation. And basically I find that using uh, a build that I found online, I'm actually really, really enjoying him. Now, what I'm actually supposed to be doing here, I don't know why I'm going over there. I should be going down to this jungle, and what I'd like to do is steal the enemy jungle bottom camp like as soon as possible, or immediately when it spawns, and that means that by the time they actually get down there, it won't have respawned, and I will kind of just stolen some extra gold. Ooh, this Catherine's right here. Let's see what we can do. Here we go, get some hits on her. Boop. Uh, I don't know if I, I don't think I got the gold for that, but I don't think she did either. That was really odd. All right, let me just place a couple of scout drops over here. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, I used to not really like Taka, but in this update, I've actually been using a uh, build by someone called Playoff Beard. If you guys don't know, he's a dev of the game. Really cool guy, and he's actually been helping me with promotion as far as uh, the in-game news tab goes. A little bit more about that later. But I've basically just been using his Glowing Hands build, which is a really popular one. A lot of people use it, and I think it's really, really good. So I've just been sort of using it whenever I uh, play Taka and it seems to be going pretty well and the main thing that you need to know about it is that you build anything that makes your hands glow basically it's that simple it's sort of more of a roll than even an actual build and uh, what happens is your first hit auto attack is going to do pretty much just as much damage as one of your abilities which I find really awesome now I also tend to build quite a bit of crystal because I like using X Retsu a lot and that does require quite a bit of energy so I normally build a Frostburn and a shattered glass. I, uh, I don't know actually where that Catherine went. Um, sorry, I was like mid sentence there. She's playing pretty good. Catherine's a reasonably good counter if she has her shield up. Oh, I thought I could seal that. Guess not. It's alright. I can do. I don't want to chase him down because even if I could catch him, I'm pretty fragile at this point. My team's down here, which is kind of useful. Uh, but I don't really, really like the uh, situation. Let's see what we can do. Can we can we catch him? Yeah. All right. No, go for Glaive. Uh, don't target me, Glaive. Target him. Even if ta uh, yeah, Catherine's over there, but she's low enough health that it doesn't matter. So we've chased them. What is the glitchiness here? What is happening? Oh my god. All right. Um, we chased them right into their jungle, but they're sort of coming back here. Don't know how much I can do to help this guy. Hopefully he can get away, but I'm going to abandon him because I can't really do much. We'll see if I can steal this bottom uh, minion mine over here, a minion camp, I guess you would call it. And then we'll go over to our jungle and farm up a little bit. That was not that smart now that I'm thinking about it because they probably could have just gone back to base. We would have been farming in the jungle and they could have destroyed us. Or they could have done what they did, which was, oh, catch me off guard while I'm talking to you guys. All right, finish this off and then we're going to leave in a hurry and invisibility he <laughs> man i love this it's so nice especially because nobody checks that bush that's sort of the reason why it works so well all i'm saying is guys you gotta start checking bushes i've gotten away so many times i think in my most recent montage which uh was a i think that was a ringo montage but basically what i did was i hid in a bush and there were three enemy teammates all searching for me all around the bush, and none of them found me. So I thought even though it wasn't a kill, I would throw it in a montage, and you guys seem to enjoy it. So hopefully you guys are going to enjoy this video just as much. Be sure to leave a like if you do. See how the lane's going over there. Don't really know why uh, Glaive is hanging out in the lane as, lane as much as he is. He's not really much of a laner, more of a ganker, because obviously his rocket ability is really good. I don't know what's going on with my jump there I, i'm playing really weird for some reason it says poor network connection but i have fairly good internet where i live i upgraded it quite a few times since i've been doing youtube to uh sort of try and get things rolling a little bit better but it doesn't matter it looks like we're doing fine can't take that minion mine right now we'll take it in a little bit though at least that won't mean that the enemy will get any farm which is always useful we got our five stacks which means we're going to be critting like crazy another tip if you're using taka you're definitely going to want to have all five of your stacks before you go into battle because that means that your first hit is just going to be devastating whereas if you didn't have all your stacks and you were going to try and build them up in battle by the time you got your first auto attack off you'd only have two or three stacks and that's just not that great so let's see what do i want to build here we're going for the tension bow first 
Sometimes I go for the aftershock first, but normally it's a tension bow. It sort of just depends. Uh, I'm just going to check this bush. Yeah, didn't think they'd be up here. All right, we'll head down here. Take this buddy right here. And uh, basically all I want to do is stick in the jungle for the uh, beginning part of the match. Build my two items. And then I'm going to start really coming out with some damage. 600 for the pier piercing uh, sword, it was said, I think. Not quite sure what it's called. Um, it looks like Glaze down here. It looks like my whole team's down here now that I'm looking at the mini map. So we can take this buddy right here. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. Don't really want to take the aggro from that, though. Hit Glaive, not me. There you go. Or are you... No, you're not hitting me. <laughs> I was like, are you seriously still hitting me? Like, pick a new target, seriously. Um, yep, get some regen from that guy right there. Very good. He's pushing into turret pretty hard. I bet... I bet I can gank this. Oh, yep, you're dead. You're dead because you're slowed. <laughs> there you go. That was a good Adagio slow, by the way. If you guys are playing Adagio, a lot of people like to play him with a lot of like crystal power. But, I mean, build all support. Build some tankiness and then build like a fountain and, and stuff that really just helps your team. Because, personally, I hate Adagios who try to play like a carry because... I just don't think he plays well as a carry, but I don't know. That's just me. Got my ex Retsu. You're dead. You're dead, kid. Oh, suck on that. Let's see what's happening. Is this Catherine going to get away? No, you're not. No, you're not. There we go. 2 0 and 1. Not doing too bad. And that's going to be a gold mine. A little bit early, but hey, I mean, it's still gold. Who cares? And that means that uh, we'll have a little bit of vision in the jungle as well, so then we'll be able to cross over quite as easily. There we go. And is that, that's enough for my tension bow. Very nice. All right, so things just took a pretty good turn right there. If he's pushing it to turret, we might even be able to pick up another kill here. Let's just check. Oh, he flared us. Yeah, you're going to want to run, buddy. You're going to want to run. <laughs> okay, that wasn't, that didn't do much, I had to admit, but still, so, at least I can kind of do some damage to him. Chase him back into turret there. I got my uh, ability up right now, which is the Tension Bow. Probably one of the best early game items that you can build for kind of like anybody. But it really doesn't scare, scale well late game. So if you guys are thinking about possibly adding it to a final build, I would highly suggest against it. Um, only with Taka, really, because you're kind of trying to get that one really strong auto attack. And then you don't really care because you're just going to run away. Because you're just you're a hit and run guy. That's just how you play. Um, but with other heroes who you're trying to sort of sit there and actually continually do damage, I really would not not say that the uh, tension bow is that great. A lot of people like building it for saw early for some reason. I, I have no idea what the reason is. Um, but it doesn't work well because you're going to get one really hard attack first, and then you're not really going to do that much damage after that, even though you have your, um, your spin up going. So that's just my two cents on that. Let's build a bit of aftershock right here. Get some ability cooldown, always useful. And at this point, I feel like I'm strong enough that I can head into the jungle. What's happening over here? <laughs> Saw is getting wrecked. I have a uh, really neat new video coming out fairly soon in the next couple of weeks. I'm not quite sure when it's actually going to end up dropping, but it's a lore video. And it's actually going to be part of a new series. I talked about how I was going to be doing a new series in a... I just... Okay, that was not worth it. Whoa, what a... What? Okay, you guys just saw that. That was... I don't even know what just happened with lag there. That was crazy. And we're still getting poor network connection. All right, whatever. 2-1. Team's still doing well. Uh, as I was saying, though, I am actually going to be having a lore video coming out for Glaive. And that's going to be the first in a series of videos that are all going to be about the lore of Vainglory, which I thought was a pretty cool topic. Uh, I don't think it's really been done by any YouTubers, and I'd love to see it done, so... I decided that I would start a series on it. That was sort of the announcement I wanted to give you guys just because I had said in an earlier video, I believe that rigged all montage, that I had some stuff cooking and I would tell you in the next video. So there it is, guys. Hopefully you guys are going to enjoy that. But you should stick around for the end of the video. Don't just leave now. And uh, yeah, let's take that guy. I love that x Retsu is so like low cooldown that you can actually use it to farm. Personally, I don't think it's actually that smart. and I probably shouldn't have used it there. But once I get my frost burn, it's going to be sort of useful because you won't burn through your energy as quickly and it'll regen very quickly. So I think it's actually uh, 
a really neat alt, and I think it's probably one of the best in the game at the moment. Can we finish him? There we go. Oh, don't even. Don't even. All right, we'll sit in this bush. Are they going for it? Um, you're dead. <laughs> Man, I love this hero. I love this hero so much. That's a ace pretty early, too. Ten minutes into the game. You don't see a lot of aces ten minutes into the game. What are you doing? No. Oh, my God. You are lucky. And that should not have been that close. What is that guy doing? All right. Well, now I'm going to just get out of here. Skadoodle. Thank you for building those boots, even though that was an accident. It turned out to work out all right. Let's see. That's a dead turret. We can take that glaive. Please just push a little bit over here. No, not with this glaze so low. I don't like that. We're going to head away from that. And unless this... Ugh, why are you engaging, guys? You're so low. This is such a dumb idea. Yep, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get back to my jungle. We'll do some shopping here. What can we buy? Eclipse Prism. Pretty close to that Aftershock. Ooh, I want to stay in here. Alright. What can we do? What can we do? All right, we're just going to walk alongside her. I know it does damage. Boom. doesn't matter, though, because we can take her out. Nobody has to worry about that shield when it's on cooldown. Uh, can we take out the saw? Can we take out the saw? Get the Esu. That's, uh, that's slaying for ace. Because that's totally how English works. Let's pop this puppy. And boom. And oh, yes. There we go. Please hit me out. Please hit me out, saw. Just, 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 yeah, that's right. Don't even. Don't even try. Another one right there. 7 and 1, not doing too bad. Pick up some health right here. Hopefully we can kill this thing fast enough to actually get a good amount of health off of it. I find that early game, the heal from it actually isn't even that worth it because it takes so long to kill it that you take quite a bit of damage. So uh, that's I don't really like killing those early game. Late game, though, you can sort of like one or two shot them and they become a little bit easier to kill. <laughs> anyway, let's take you on lag oh my god i don't know what's happening with this recording guys i kind of like never had lag before and now it's just coming all at once uh, and that was a kill okay because sure why not oh my god oh wow <sighs> that's ugh, stupid lag okay well, at least we got our a uh, our aftershock, which means that we're going to be doing crazy amounts of damage on our first auto attack. Eight and two, still not that bad, but I'm kind of pissed about this log. I have no idea what's going on. Well, let me just take a look on my computer for a second. Maybe I have like a bunch of computer programs open up. Ah, that would do it. I'm actually uploading a YouTube video at the moment. Uh, that you're gonna see that in a little bit, but uh, I guess that's why I'm lagging so much. Note to self, never play while uploading. It takes way too much bandwidth. I'm actually just going to shut off the internet on my computer for a second. If you hear the uh, mouse click, sorry about that. Hopefully that will get rid of all of these issues, though. Yep, that's it. Okay, well, at least we've taken care of that two deaths into the game, though. Um, not that bad. Can we take him? All right, I'm going to wait for him to push that wave out. And then uh, I'm going to let his cooldown expire. Oh, come on. Come on. Don't get so close. Oh, there we go. That was a good stun. Finish. Oh, come on. That's a dead glaive. That's an Asu. There we go, guys. I actually got that. If you guys don't know, he's a... Uh, a League of Legends YouTuber, and his name is uh, Legend of Gamer. <laughs> oh my god, he has the funniest like sounds for everything in the game. Because you have like Ace, you have Pentakill, stuff like that in League of Legends. And he has his own like versions of them, and they're hilarious. Check him out if you guys want. Let's see. Ah, oh, that was a ton of damage right there. Oh, go invisible. Go invisible. Don't like this at all. I'm getting out. Let's see. What can I do? No, nah, they're both really high on health. I don't want to risk any of that. On the bright side, we got a Dajio here helping me out. I can take you right there. Bop, boop, boop. 
Boop. Oh, jeez, what is happening? For some reason, even with everything happening, I'm still getting a ton of lag. Completely stole that minion mine. But that doesn't matter because... Can we finish? Can we finish? Uh, I don't think so, but might as well try. That was a waste by Blade. I'm, I'm sorry, but that was just a waste, bud. Finish. Finish. Come on, there we go. I really thought we were going to finish that a lot earlier. Doesn't matter though, let's clear this out. Ooh, that's a Catherine that I don't want to deal with. That stun is deadly from her. Use that right there, go invisible. And the stealth is activated, guys. Everybody loves a stealth master. And we're actually up to pretty good health now, thanks to this Adagio carry. Thank you for that, even though you're not really building... Uh, actually, I don't want to, I do not want to go in there right now. Send to the outside for a little bit. And yeah, we'll go invisible, see what we can do. Can we do anything? Yeah, I don't think so. Did some damage to the blade, but not quite enough. Probably could have finished, actually, now I have to think about it, but I don't think it really would have been worth it. That being said, we can get some heal right there. Is there anybody here? Home? What is home? That's not a word. Uh, finish this right here, and that's going to be a little bit more healing. Really nice that I can finish these things so quickly. And now we're going to get into buying some stuff. So what do I want to get? Maybe an alternating current because then I can uh, make it so that my basic attack will do a bit more damage as well as uh, take some of that crystal power. I could also build a shatter glass for my ex-retsu or a frost burn. Maybe even an evil harvest. So there's so many options. I'm not really sure. I'm thinking an evil harvest because I mean I am really fragile at this point. And uh, even for being an assassin every once in a while you have to build a little bit of sustain so we're just gonna build that let's see what are you doing sa i'm sorry bud did i i think i accidentally used my extretsu on uh Ooh, that was a clutch kill right there pop you in the face with my fists ain't nobody got time for that there we go is that an ace uh oh no they got catherine somewhere don't know where she is but who cares because we can finish let's go 11 and 2 even though those two deaths were we're just going to call them maybe not completely legit because internet connection because because uh, nobody cares about that. Here we go. Do some damage here. You know what? No, we're going for the kill. We're going for the kill. We're going for the ace. There you go, guys. 11, 2, and 6. That's going to be the game. We'll take a look. Can we Oh, there you go. The extra retsu for the finish there and finishing on an ace. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and become a lieutenant today. I'm going to take a look at these scores, and then I'll send you guys on your way. Looks like Glaive came out of this thing 4, 4, and 13. Not bad. I came out of it 11, 2, and 6. Pretty good in my opinion, but obviously the two deaths were uh, probably didn't have to happen. So 6 assists, though, with Taka is not that bad because he's really not that great at getting assists normally. And then you got Adagio, 7 kills, 0 deaths, 12 assists. Those are some pretty good Adagio numbers. And uh, really, when you're looking at Adagio, you have to always look at the assists because, in my opinion, Adagio is like a complete support character. And then on the other team, you got Glaive 3-6-0. Not that bad considering the game. Saw 3-9-0. That's, that's pretty bad. But then you got kind of the real flaw on their team, 0-7-3 Catherine. And uh, maybe you should go down a little bit in his yellow to get some easier matches and learn a little bit about Catherine before coming back up here. But that's going to be the game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I am saying my outro twice. I will talk to you guys later. I'm sorry.